Hi, this is Sam Wheeler, and uh, just to give you an update on what we're doing or what we've done lately on the project. We've added the, the rear suspension to the machine now, and it's all fit nice, and it looks like it's all going to work good. The belt's installed, the rear wheel and brake and everything. That part of it's going to make it a roller now, and we can get it off of the fixture and finish the rest of the accessories. The main reason for all these changes is we've had a lot of problems. Basically, starting from the ground is the rear tire. Uh, we've never had a tire that was, I mean, we had a tire that was good up to 350, but now we've got these new Goodyear tires that are good for 450 miles an hour. And so that tire uses a lot of air pressure, 150 PSI, that required a new wheel. And because of the new wheel and everything, we had to come up with the rest of the stuff to hold it. Now the engine is going to produce up to 600 horsepower or can produce that much. So that meant a whole new drive system. We've always had trouble with the chain. Uh, it was only good for really one pass and should be replaced after that. So we've gone to a belt drive and it's good for 600 horsepower forever. And as far as the brake goes, fortunately, I've got a, my old high school buddy, Roger Lamb, who has Lamb components, has provided the brake setup for me. And uh, it's a carbon, carbon brake. It's the same, basically the same disc that a pro stock car would use for NHR racing. It's a very simple carbon, carbon brake system that can take a lot of heat in the event that he has a, sh a shoot issue of any sort and um, will not deteriorate like metal or conventional iron. So it's a safety feature and it's extremely light. The rotor assembly that he's using, which is the same piece that we use on the front of a pro stock or pro mod car. It's a 10 inch rotor, it's 450 thousandths thick. With that, we use our floating front carbon brake system. It'll get the job done, hopefully he'll never need to use it. But if he does, he'll be able to uh, scrub off enough speed that they won't have an issue. The project had really almost come to an end in 2006 because we couldn't get tire for the front end. Even though we had problem with the rear tires, it was the front was the bottom line. We're not going to run that this thing anymore at the speeds we want to go. So we got an opportunity to try one more time with the tireless wheel, and which we produced and tried that. And it did work up to a point. I could steer it and ride it and everything, but it was tearing up the salt. So then Bruce Burness, who I've known for a few years now, and he had actually helped me with the Olean shocks, I went back to him and I said, this thing is hopping, and we had uh, data acquisition information plus photos of the salt and what it was doing. And so he helped me dial in the, in the shock absorber. Hi, I'm Bruce Burness. I, I've been in the motor racing business for over 50 years, and uh, it, late in my career, I got contacted by Sam Wheeler to help with his, uh, his Bonneville Easy Hook Streamliner. I got hooked up with Sam because after I worked for s and in this building, and I moved to Sweden for four years and worked for the Olean's company there, four years of a world motocross. And that's really got an idea of what you should or shouldn't do. And Sam already had a set of Olean's, and he'd had them so long he figured the salt had corroded them and that like, they should be opened up and checked out, you know? You know, he brought them to me and had me re on them, make sure everything was still working the way it's supposed to. The adjuster had, was set wide open, which caused about a year worth of mystery. I, you know, there are certain philosophies in damping that I worked up over the years, which really started in motocross. Turns out to be appropriate in every other kind of racing I've been since. Whether it's a motorcycle or a car or an Indy car, you know, it's, it, there's a certain approach I take always, and, you know, I did that with Sam's thing too, you know. Bruce is a shock absorber expert, not just on motorcycles, but cars. Most of his experience is on road racing and that kind of stuff. So he knows how to get things going. He's done Formula One work and everything else. And he's very good at saying, okay, here's where we ought to start. He saved the project, really, to, to make this tireless front wheel work. S Sam Wheeler is a hero for me. He's uh... 
He's been do doing this since he was a teenager, and he and he has not flinched. You know, this is this is his mission in life is to set this record. He's an incredible fabricator, unbelievable machinist. And it, you know, he's just still dedicated to being the fastest guy on the planet on a motorcycle. You know, so you know, I, I can really get behind that. You know, if I there's something I can offer up, I'm going to do it in a heartbeat. You know? Sam has been truly dedicated to going fast in a streamliner at Bonneville, no matter what it takes. He's never given up, done whatever it takes to make the, the project succeed, and uh, has come very close to um, making it happen. And this time, I think all the ducks are in a row, everything looks like it should work out. The streamliner's really gonna go fast. Boy, Sam deserves it. He's worked hard enough, harder than anyone I know. Pray for good salt.